What's going on YouTube? FCC 1992 coming at you again. Um, today is going to be something a little different. So I'm going to go back to one of my older pickups. And uh, just give you a quick little story I have about them. I figured, you know, I want to start sharing some of my uh, my shoes that I've had for the past couple of years. And, you know, how they became uh, part of my collection. So, without further ado, we'll go ahead and hop straight into it. Shoe we have today is the Nike or the Nike Air Jordan Levi 1. Um, this shoe came to my attention right after the release. Um, you know, a buddy of mine ended up picking a pair up at our uh, shop not far away from here, about an hour and a half north of us. Um, you know, and I saw him rocking them. And just from the get-go, I loved the shoe, the concept of the shoe, the fact of the, the denim material and the, uh, the leather all the way around and the gold Nike check. I mean, it was just... The shoe was beautiful in my eyes. Uh, so I went on a hunt to uh, to actually find the shoe. And, uh, you know, I struck out everywhere I went. And, uh, you know, it was 2011. Uh, me and my fiance went to a uh, sneaker event uh, in Charlotte, North Carolina um, at the Bobcats Arena. And we were walking around and... Uh, I've been at the show for maybe 10 minutes and uh, she looks over and she says, hey, aren't those the Levi's? And uh, me not thinking right, I wasn't even paying attention to what, you know, what she was talking about when she said Levi's. So I was like, what are you talking about? You know, where? She pointed over and I saw the patch sitting there so quickly, ran over there without hesitation. Um, and he, uh, you know, got, got to look at him, you know, dead sock. Brand new at the time, they were factory laced. Um, they did not come with the jeans. The guy was actually wearing the jeans, but they did come with the t-shirt that came in the pack. So uh, I get to talking to the guy and I asked him, I'm like, you know, what are they for sale? And, uh, you know, he's like, yeah, actually, I'm selling my entire collection. Um, and that was one of the shoes that I have to let go. And uh, at the time, I did not know they weren't the complete pack. I thought it was going to be the jeans, t-shirt, and the shoes. So... You know, he told me, you know, I'm not going to be able to give you the jeans. So, you know, we had to go back and forth for a second. He came back. He said, you know what? This is what I'm going to do for you. I'll give you the shoe. Keep in mind, factory, dead stock, factory lace, everything. Um, he said, I'm going to give you the shoe for $390. Immediately, I had a, I mean, I, I didn't even process it at first. But as soon as it clicked in my head, the price he said, I said, okay, I'll be right back. Ran to the ATM didn't think twice about it um so you know we the entire time you know when I was you know after I purchased a shoe from him I you know I started heading back home and just really looking at the shoe and started appreciating it that much more uh the fact that it is you know one of my grails that I was on the hunt for for a very long time and uh the fact that I was actually able to obtain it for a really really good price um actually below retail if I'm not mistaken um you know, and I, I don't remember his name, I don't remember his Instagram or anything like that, so, you know, if you stumble across this video, just know that I still have him and that I, you know, I truly appreciate the deal you gave me. Um, but aside from that, you know, I haven't gotten a chance to wear them yet. I am waiting for some, you know, a special, special day for me or a special event or something like that. Um, but trust me, when I, when I get the opportunity to wear them, I'm going to wear them into the ground. Uh, so... You know, I'm going to get into a quick little uh, review of them. You know, I'm sure everybody who knows the shoe has seen the shoe and they know what it is. So it's, it's pretty, pretty simple. Um, on the outside, we got the uh, almost like a uh, goldish copper bottom or a goldish tan bottom. Um, all is pretty similar. The Nike Air right there, same color. Um, going up to the midsole, got a all white midsole. With that same color gold going all the way around in the stitching, that same stitching. The up top we have a mixture of materials. We have a uh, really good quality leather all the way around the shoe, upper, all the way down around the toe box. And then right here we actually have the denim material that is inside the jean, the elephant print denim, uh, wrapping around the Nike swoosh up here on the toe box, all the way up onto the tongue and around to the back with a gold jump man on the back and 
gold jump man with night with the jump man in the air underneath on the front. So red laces, tag, you know, the red Jordan tag. See if I can get my camera to focus in on it a little better. Alright. And these are what made this on oh, no, a gold Nike check. What made this most special though is the fact that it is actually my size. It is a size 13. And you know, I, I can actually wear this shoe and enjoy it. Um, usually with the Jordan 1s, I have to go up one full, you know, I, I usually wear a 12 in majority of my shoes, but with the Jordan 12s or 1s for some reason, they're really tight right here around the toes. So I do go up a size just so I get my full, the full comfort out of them. So, you know, not too much, with, not too much detail on the shoe except for the elephant print and the materials and stuff. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed my, the story about them and, you know, the, the quick background about them. So. I hope you guys have a good night and uh, I'll see you guys soon.